Hello, my name is Kamal Boyd from uh, New Brunswick Alumni, and you're watching Kappa League TV. I'm here with Brother Michael L. Young, Esquire. Not only is he a Kappa League advisor, he's a co-owner of the Coder School in Montgomery, New Jersey. In our Kappa League meeting today, we will be, we will, uh, you know, build and uh, write codes for computer-assisted robot cards. Uh, why do you feel this is a valuable exercise? The need to close the gap for those who have exposure to coding and those who do not have exposure to coding is tremendous. So everything that we do in this time, in this technological new revolution, requires some understanding of tech and coding. And it's so important because everything that we engage in involves coding in some capacity. So instead of being consumers, we have to learn to be creators. All right. What skills do you think the Cavalier gained from this exercise today? Most importantly, they learned collaboration, how to work with one another to solve a problem. That leads into the second most important thing, which is problem solving. In any job, whether you're in technology, whether you are in uh, engineering, it requires problem solving. That is the key to success. Other skills that are gained while they're collaborating, while they're problem solving, it also requires you to critically think. So if you don't have the syntax right or the block code correct, then the object simply doesn't move. And so the best way of testing your work is when the drone flies and the robot moves. How important do you feel coding is for students today? I cannot underestimate the importance of coding. Only 1% of the country knows how to code, 1%. And 60% of jobs coming up in the next eight to 10 years will require some form of coding. So when AI comes in and takes away jobs, then another skill set has to be learned for the job that was lost. So this is really an upscale uh, economic building process. If you know how to code, then one, you're not going to be without a job. You're going to be with a high paying job. But more importantly, you're going to have you're going to have a certain set of skills that not many people have. What do you enjoy most about STEM and coding? My favorite part about STEM and coding is when I meet a student who has never coded before, who has not been involved in STEM very much. And to see that person as an example, we have a six-year-old student, Peyton, who came to us about two and a half years ago. She came in not knowing anything about coding. She is now coding in four different languages. She has HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Scratch, actually five different languages, because now she's working on Python. So that is the best feeling when you can take someone and you watch them grow and bud and start achieving their dreams. There's no better feeling. Thank you very much for answering my questions and thank you very much for being here. From Kappa League TV, I'm Kamal Boyd.